Now, Gaurav Sawant, our strategic affairs editor, joins us now for a look at what's happening in the Augusta Westland deal. Now, Gaurav, the government has decided not to blacklist Augusta Westland, presumably because it's entered into an arb arbitration process over that uh, cancelled VVIP chopper deal. But what are the implications for Augusta Westland and Finn Mechanica, uh, since they presumably remain free to bid for more defence contracts? Well, as far as Augusta Westland and Finn Mechanica are concerned, they are in the market for deals worth almost 55,000 crore. And that is huge, whether it is deals with the Navy, the Air Force or the Army. Helicopters for the Army, the Navy, uh, some helicopters for the Air Force, uh, Finn Mechanica is, uh, and, and Augusta Westland are in the market for those deals. Uh, as far as the Navy is concerned, they are in the market for deck guns uh, for the Navy. Uh, should... Finn Mechanica and Augusta Westland be banned, then the government will not be able to do any business either with the companies or their subsidiaries and defence preparedness for the Army, Navy and Air Force would suffer. That's one part of the story. Second part of the story is there are only a few companies that manufacture the kind of arms that India needs. India today is the biggest arms buyer in the world. If you ban this company, then there is an unfair advantage to other companies and they may either hike their prices or you may not be able to negotiate well with them. That's why this new exercise that you cancel that deal, cash the bank guarantees, take the strictest possible action against the company on this deal, enforce penalty, but let other deals continue. But it remains to be seen whether the government can actually pursue this experiment.